Today I'm going to go over the top five reasons why you should consider moving to New Hampshire. And usually when I do a video like this, I kind of go on Google, do some research, showing statistics and actual factual reasons why New Hampshire is such a great state, because it truly is. But today I decided to switch it up a little bit, and instead of giving what just general information you can find online, I'm going to say the top five favorite things I actually like about New Hampshire from spending literally my whole life in New Hampshire. It's the only state I've ever lived in. And I'm just gonna go over the five favorite things I think would actually be like, hey, I wanna go to that place. It seems pretty cool. So the first one I wanna touch on is a super simple one. And that is just that we get to experience all four seasons. Now you might say, oh, that's pretty simple. But I've been to other places and I understand the weather of course changes throughout the year depending on what season it is. But in New Hampshire, you really get the extremes of both ends because you'll have days in the summer in July where it is 100 plus degrees, absolutely burning, gorgeous. I love the summertime. I like it more around the mid 80s, but it's fantastic. Then you also have the winter where you'll have nights where it's dipping below zero, super cold, super snowy, which of course some love, some hate. I don't love it necessarily, but it also makes me cherish the summertime a lot more because I remember, hey, we get to deal with snow in six months. So I love the winter time, but I'm not a big snow guy. So I like the feeling of winter. But as a kid, when I was growing up, I feel like just the way the year, all the seasons rolled in, you just knew where you were in the school year, in life in general, because when it was starting to get cold, the leaves were turning colors, you were going back to school, Halloween was coming up, Thanksgiving was next. Then once you're at Thanksgiving, sometimes it's already snowing by the time Thanksgiving hit. So instead of even thinking about Thanksgiving, your, your brain's already thinking about Christmas and what you're going to get on Christmas Day. And then once it snow starts melting away, spring comes in, and the biggest thing there is you're like, ooh, School's going to get out soon. And then here comes the heat, the summertime, you know, you got the school out. It just reminds me a lot of my childhood. And I really, really enjoy the seasons because again, it's not like summer's definitely my favorite. I prefer heat, but I also like experience everything because I don't think I could do heat every single day of the year. The next thing I love about New Hampshire is the small town feels it still has. Because again, going back to my childhood, when I was growing up, I grew up in a little town called Lionborough, New Hampshire. Most people can't spell it, don't know how to pronounce it, don't know where it is on a map. But it was a town of about 1,700 people, and it was awesome to grow up there. Was the school system the best? No. I got through, though, and I'm doing all right. So it was good enough, but, like, it was just nice because it was a small town feel. Like, of course, my parents were also pretty lenient and letting me do what I wanted to do. But, like, I would just bike around the town, go walk the train tracks, go explore the woods, find some rivers find some levees to swim in, even though when I look at them now, they're pretty gross, but it was fun. And then once we got licenses, we would just go and usually just spend every day fishing, whether after school or during the summer, it was a great time. And during it, you just knew everyone because it's a small town. They're like, oh, there's the high school kids going out to do that. You go to the village store, tiny little village store, really the only thing in Lineboro, go there for a bite to eat. Everyone would just leave their car running in the parking lot. Like it was just a nice community, small town feel, like you felt safe there. And next, New Hampshire still has the freedom, which I love because one, we don't have any state income tax or sales tax, which is awesome. New Hampshire is also a super gun friendly state. You can conceal carry or open carry without any licenses needed, which I of course love. Another thing is you can ride a motorcycle without a helmet. You can ride in the back of a pickup truck. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, you shouldn't ride a motorcycle without a helmet. Well, guess what? Coming from someone who rides a motorcycle a lot, respectfully, one, I'm on a motorcycle. That's already very dangerous to begin with. I know this. Two, let me have my freedom to choose if I want to protect my dome piece or not. So that's the way I look at it. Like, is it the smartest move? Absolutely not. But who cares? You know, I'm on a motorcycle. Now, the next one probably sounds pretty cliche, but it's just a landscape in New Hampshire and what like New Hampshire has to offer year round, honestly, because in the summertime, you can spend your time hiking for one of the 48, 4,000 foot mountains we have here. Tons of hiking, all the lakes and ponds and rivers you can go either swimming in or you can go kayaking, canoeing, fishing, boating. 
water rafting, whatever you want to do. You can go out to the coast for the day. Even though we only have 13 miles of coastline, we still have some beaches. Hampton Beach is one of the most popular out there. Great way to spend a beach day. You can go up north into the more thick of the woods, go ATVing up there or side by siding or just hike some more trails up that way. There's always stuff to do. And then of course, once this all switches into winter, well, now there's snow on the ground. So now you can ski, you can snowboard, you can go snowmobiling. You can, what is that thing called when you have those little things on your feet in the snow? Oh, I can't think of it. The Eskimos used to do it, I think. But you can do that. It's kind of like cross country snowshoeing. I couldn't think of snowshoeing. Snowshoeing is what I was thinking of. You can also cross country ski. There's a bunch of things to do and it's just gorgeous. New Hampshire is just gorgeous. Like I'll just be riding the bikes through back roads some days, just having a nice Sunday afternoon ride. And you're just looking at the landscape and it's just a pretty state. I'll give it that. It's just pretty. And then the final thing that I'm going to touch on and a huge part of why I love New Hampshire is something that's kind of hard to put into words. And the best way I could think about it is New Hampshire is kind of old school. Like we don't have any major cities at all. Our biggest one is New uh, Manchester. And I think it has like 110,000, 120,000 people. It's not big. It has everything you need, but it's not big. So I feel like everyone still is like, I don't know, just a little bit more old school. I, I wouldn't say we're laid back or don't care about anything, but we really live by the mo motto of the state, live free or die. And I feel like people still have some respect for that. They respect each other. And again, like people leave their cars running in parking lots anywhere really in New Hampshire. They don't care. A lot of people I know leave their doors unlocked. Is it safe? No, but it feels safe around here because people... I think it's honestly because it's a gun carrying state. Everyone knows everyone has guns, so nobody wants to mess with anyone. That's why it works out so well. And it's just kind of, like I said, hard to explain because everyone has like a community feel. Like even in the bigger cities, Keene's a city to me, even though it's like 30,000 people, not even. But people know their neighbors. They know their mailmen. They know their police officers and their fire department people who a lot of them with the small towns in New Hampshire, most of the fire departments are volunteers. So a big old thank you to them because I've had to have some experience with that. <laughs> Did have a house fire when I was a kid. Helps gone, but they were super nice. So that's always cool. But yeah, those are the top five things I could think about of what I love about New Hampshire. Of course, I'm probably missing some pretty big alarming things that are right in my face, but when you live in a place your whole life, you kind of become accustomed to what it is. These are the things I love just from traveling to other places and be like, ooh, I kind of miss that back home. So again, it's kind of hard to state what you're looking for exactly if you're looking to move to New Hampshire. But as a real estate agent, over the past four years, I've helped numerous people move from Virginia, from Mass, Connecticut, a bunch of different states, kind of south, coming up, New York, all coming up to New Hampshire. And they have all been loving it since they moved up. They bought a house and they are loving it. So if you're looking to move to New Hampshire, you have any home buying questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. If this video added any value, please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next week.